Hi guys, so I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial, um, it's a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to speed it up, I guess, um, so yeah, this is the new Maybelline Nude Matte Lip Gloss, and I got it at Walmart for like, I think 5 or $7, and it was very cheap, but... I will apply it. I've already got some of my, um, since I don't have as bad of a acne issue, which you can try denatured alcohol and using Dawn dish soap or Dial to wash off that stuff. Because sometimes, for me, I have sensitive skin. But I do have to put my torch on real quick so you can see. Then you go and I do like this because it stays on for forever. I mean, you have to wait for it to dry, of course. I know my lips are not perfectly symmetrical, but it works for a while. And I glob it on there. On the inside. And it shows my perfect kind of rosy cheek pattern. And then, as far as that's concerned, because something that I'm probably going to collect these because they're so big and long and they last for a while. Um, next, I'm probably going to do. Um, my, um, bite wing tutorial, or the, the wings, as we call it. I have never used this, but this is a Revlon, um, tutorial. I know this is supposed to be, like, an applicator, but... I'm guessing that what you do is, it's very lucrative, <laughs> you um, basically, my vision is a lot better now for some reason, but you draw in like that, and then you go like that a little bit around the eye line, just where there's a line. And I know my eyes are burning but because of the light, but you can see why my eyes can get really big during this time of year, just from- ooh! That was annoying, <laughs> but yeah. Um, what happens when you have the best network, the best devices, and the best value? Let's see. I don't know why that happened. But you have to be very, very careful while applying this stuff because it can be very, very, very fragile. And, um, of course, I can't drag on it too hard. Of course. And now, you make sure that they are symmetrical. So, um, my glasses, where'd my glasses go? They do need a little tad bit of work, but other than that, they can be blended out and, uh, with the under end. This is a Revlon Color Stay, and you can get these at Walmart for about $7, I believe. I'm not going to use this, but this is a, uh, hold on a minute. This is a Mante, uh, if you can see it, it's a Fit Me, and this is porcelain, it's in my shade. I would know I have porcelain skin, so, um, I'm going to blend this out real quick, kind of go on it, and... 
but sometimes when you make that because I know it can be kind of frustrating because I can't see but of course you have to look up close this is not the best pen but it was very cheap and I believe it is waterproof I believe on the box it says it's waterproof but you have to drag it and then hope that it works. But this is the part where it's kind of so much so guesswork. I mean, I don't have any eyeshadow yet, but I normally don't do that. Me, I just eyeball it. Make sure it comes out right. Yeah, that's, that's not supposed to happen, but anyways. Ugh, it keeps crumbling. Even that happens. I guess you have to keep it steady. But yes, um, this is kind of a shitty eyeliner pencil that I c grabbed off the shelf at Walmart today. It's not perfect, but it works. But now I'm going to cap, cap that real quick. I know it's kind of shoddy, but you can see where I'm going at as far as the line and the wing because this is where the foam part comes in. <laughs> my vision's not very good. As you can tell, I was wearing my glasses. And so I shadow that. You have to drag it. And of course I look like raccoon eyes, but you know. It's kind of the uh, normal everyday wear for goths and whatever you want to call it. I guess I just had to hold on to this part and drag it real hard. But I'm, I'm getting used to this pen. I haven't used the eyeliner in a while. See how this is kind of turning out like a wing, and you want that for both sides. Kind of like different, but I know it's not perfect right now, but when I blend it out, that's when it will be. And um, let's see, this part, which I have to keep the cap on it, that's important. Always keep your caps. For the ends, because that's important. Because um, they can fall off, but what you can do is is secure it with a tiny little rubber band or. But excuse me. Yes. So now what you do is you blend it, and what I'm gonna do is basically just drag it. Because this is like a foam tip that you can just drag. But what you can also do with the parts that are kind of all messed up is take your foundation or concealer, which this is liquid mate, and then you can blend it. It's basically like an art process, but it works. And I like how it works to begin with. I like our uh, makeup and fashion design and it's something like cosmetology I guess so basically they're both straight I have to probably fix this part that was getting all messed up but yeah there we go
they should be about the same but as you can tell I mean probably need to fix that part but this on the other side is the wee wonky because I have a left problem my left eye pulls on the right eye because I have myopia but I can fix that real quick just be patient with your approach whenever you do makeup because then you'll actually, you know, wings are pretty hard to do. But for me, I have almond shaped eyes and I normally like doing it. Um, some people can't do the cat eye impression, but it's very lucrative. You have to be careful where you go, what you do nowadays. So, I have to probably pull that out and hold on to that. It is very, very dark. <laughs> Very kicked on there. Let's see. Oh, where did I put the plastic part? <laughs> Just had it. Oh, I need to blend this. Where did it go? Hold on. I guess I just had it. I don't know what happened. Hold on a minute. 